Okay, so one of the final skills in Year 7 we're going to look at is area and grid reference. Now essentially what area and grid reference allows us to do is to be able to find areas on a map or exact locations on a map. Okay? You might be asked in certain geography tests to locate things on a map that's in front of you. Okay? You might be asked to do this in a general sense or a specific point. Okay? And it may be asking you to find an exact feature or a given area. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to have a look at, um, we're going to look at area reference, okay? Now area reference looks at a general location. We looked at this last time looking at different um, scales on a map as well. Remember this one from a, a week or so ago we looked at scale. Now you might, you're going to still have that on a map. But what we're going to do now is try and get into an exact point by looking at a map as well. Okay? So not just looking at a general sense, but looking at a, a lot more specific. Okay? So, what do we need? Well, we need to find out two things. Okay? When we're looking at a map, we're going to try and find what we call eastings. Okay? And I'll explain that in a map coming up in just a second. And these are basically the vertical lines that go up a map, okay? And the other one is, we're going to find what we call northings, okay? Or when we have a look on the map, the horizontal lines, okay? So, what's this? If I was to give you a map, and here it is right here, what I'm putting in right now are what we call the easting lines, okay? And then these lines across are these imaginary lines called northing lines. You're going to see a bunch of numbers like this when you look on a map. Okay? Now, you might remember from primary school that you might have done map work using a sort of road map and it would have letters down and numbers up the top. Okay? Or if you walked into, a, say, a Westfields and you go to that map in that shop, you still got that G7, B2, whatever it is. Now, when we take maps to the outside world, we don't deal with those types of simple numbers anymore. We go to these, we go to area and grid reference. So as you can see right there, boys up the front here, this would be eastings. Now why do we call them eastings? Well, they come from this spot here and go to the east, okay? So that's something to remember. We're going to want to find different areas on this map using our eastings, okay? If I show up the other side of the um, map, we've got our Norvings. Okay? So, I want to see how good you are at this. We're going to start off with area reference. Area reference has four numbers. Okay? Four exact numbers. Who thinks that they could have a go at doing the area reference? <coughs> Of the S. And bear in mind, you need to do your eastings first. Who thinks they give you the four numbers for area reference of the house? It's okay if you get it wrong. Have a go. 23, 24, 17, 18. Okay. You've actually given me eight numbers there. Okay. All I want is four numbers. Okay. Four units only. Have a go. Uh, 18, 20. Okay, you've given me eight numbers as well. Okay. Who thinks they can work out? I'm trying to trick you here to make you get the right answer. Okay, 1823, if we start with the eastings, would go there, then would go there. Because you did the northings first. That's okay. I like you a bit of failure because then you learn how to do it properly. That's, this is not a test right now. Okay, have a go. 23.17. Okay. 24.17. 24.17 would go here, then would go up into here, and would be this box there. What do you reckon? 23.18. Uh, 23.18 would go there, and go up to there, and then be that box there. Alright. Oh, now we're all coming out of the woodwork. So, hi, what have we got? 2317 is the correct answer. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 
Yes, seven. Now, why did I do it in that particular way? Well, now, for the rest of your high school life, you will get area reference right. Okay? Let me get this off the board and test you now. What is the area reference of the boy? They can tell me. 2316. 2316 is the correct answer. See how you're getting it right now? What you've got to try and do is the Eastings first. Once you've got the Eastings, you've pretty much got that line covered. Then you come up to your Northings and try and get this line here. You're always trying to get that L shape so you can get the general area. Okay? What if it goes through both like the bars? If it's both, okay, what the question would ask you there is give you both sets of area reference. Who can give me both sets of area reference for the for the forest? 25, 16, 25, 17. 25, 16, 25, 17. Good, you get it. Okay? Now it was good to fail at the start because now you won't ever get this type of skill wrong. Okay, very good. All right, there's going to be more questions. We're going to come back to this. All right, let's move to the next one. So, just to recap, area reference is four units, okay? You do your Eastings first, okay? And you do your Northing second, okay? There's a number of different sayings you can do. I always say crawl before you climb, okay? So go across your map and then climb up your map, okay? As you get your area reference. All right, that's, that's how area reference looks like. So you might see that in a, in, a, in a question or an exam. AR stands for area reference, and 33 is the eastings, and 63 is the northings. Okay, so check this out, and we'll go back to the map in just a second. That's how it looks. So, makes sense. Now, why would you use area reference? What are you trying to do? You're trying to find a general area on the map. Okay, that's key. All right, so the house is 2317. We've done that. Okay, what is the AR for? Area reference. What is it for the plane? Who can tell me for the plane? Somebody new? Yep. 2215. You got it. Okay, nice and easy now that you've got the skill in your head. But if you were never shown this, you could never do year 10, year 11 geography skills. Okay. What about the boy? We've already done the boy 2316. Okay, I'm going to press. You're going to write down the numbers when they appear. It's going to give you probably about five seconds or so to write down the area reference of each. Are you ready? Okay, so let's test your skill. By the end of this, you'll be an expert at area reference. Okay, let's go. What is A? Let's write it down. And to be formal, you need to write a AR equals 2348. So A is AR 2238. Okay, next one. I'm going to stop it at five seconds down. It's just too easy now. But think about it. Like two minutes ago, you all didn't know how to do it. Now you know how to do it. Okay, next one. Okay, next one. Oh, that's not letting me do it. That's not unfair. Okay, D. Okay, so let's see if it stops there. Pretty simple at this level, isn't it? Once we've got it like this. There's no math work though yet, okay? But I want you to know the skill before we move on. Okay, let me just fast forward a little bit here. And we'll go to grid reference. Okay, here's where we get a little bit trickier. Okay, grid reference is six units. Six numbers. Okay, so it includes error reference already. But it includes two other numbers to give you a specific reference on the map. Okay. So the first two numbers, okay, the first two numbers in a grid reference now are Eastings, okay? Then there's this little one, 
Then the fourth and the fifth numbers are norvings. Okay? So, one and two are eastings. Four and five are norvings. There's a three and a six number that we need to work out. Okay? And I'll show you how to do that when we go back to that simple map that I showed you before. Get that into your head first of all. This is how it would look. So you've got six numbers, yeah? 33 would be your eastings. Okay, so you find that box. Okay? But then there's a five. Okay, and I'll, I'll teach you how you work out that five. The six three are your northings. Okay? And then that last digit is something inside that box. So, okay, let's find out how we do it. Just imagine that 04 was your first two um, numbers, and you have to go to that church symbol. You would have to go across one, two, three, four, five inside the box. Okay? So the first three numbers would be 045. Okay? Then, down here, to finish off the group reference, you would have 128. Okay? And so that would find you the exact point. Not the general area, but the exact point. Okay? Does that make sense? So, let's see how confident you are when we go to the map. Oh my God. What's this? What is the grid reference for the ball in which the boy is about to catch? Who thinks they can have a go? Don't yell it out, put your hand up. Zach, you were first. Is it 23, 23, 2, 23, 1, or 2? Okay. 23, 2, 16, um, 2. 16, 2? Yeah. Okay. And Zach, who else would I have a go? Twenty three seven and sixteen nine. Twenty three seven and sixteen nine. Sixteen nine. Okay, a few more before the goggles. and sixteen nine. Okay, that's different. Last, last one. All right, we're gonna test it out. <laughs> that's okay, but you'll get it next time. All right, what's this? Oh, the suspense is killing me. All right. 23.8. Okay? And then we have... Sixteen nine is the correct answer. Okay. All right, have a go at these four before the bell. Try and work out the, these four... And where that we go for A, B, C, D. Go. No, no, write it down. Write it down. Go one minute. Okay. What would be this one? A2 it's it's D it's Let's put some more. Alright. 